Gemini. Let's see what's coming up for you guys in the next 30 days. For Gemini. I know you guys are last, but remember all the last 30 days were yours. You were first in all my readings. So now you're last, boo boo. Okay, we've got the Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Gemini, last, next 30 days. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, that one flew out. King of Cups, Gemini, next 30 days. Gemini, next 30 days. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Gemini, next 30 days. Gemini, next 30 days. Oh, we got, wow. <laughs> okay. Overall energy. Ooh, five of wands. The mm. nine of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, the ace of cups. Okay, well, this is going to be the overall energy, even if it's, like, equal to the rest. It looks the same. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Gemini, Gemini. So, um, we're starting off with conflict, huh? You are at odds. Well, this could be within yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to be another person. I feel like it's another person, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, this could be within yourself, an internal struggle or pull. Um, <clears throat> as soon as these two came out, though, I felt the energy of wanting to hold on to security, whatever, whatever that means. For some of you, because it does, these are... I mean, they're both in the suit of pentacles, but they are similar in the sense that this person is sitting on a chest, right? And holding all these coins, like not wanting to let them go. And then behind them, there's this huge castle. And the Ten of Pentacles shows a, a very large estate, which could very well be this castle. So maybe you're holding on to some sort of property. Could be... Um, land you're holding on to it could be a house you're holding on to could be a relationship you're holding on to could be a friendship family member you're holding on to something that you feel gives you stability safety security um we do have a king of cups here but this could be a father brother boyfriend husband um, a family member, like an uncle, grandfather, could be a friend as well. And it's kind of like you're, so we have two cards here of conflict. This is conflict with somebody on the outside. Could also be internal, but this feels internal. To me, they both, honestly, they both could go both ways. It's either internal <clears throat> or trying to balance the connection with someone else. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Now, we do have the strength card here. Like, this is um, this is what the battle is, whether you realize it or not. On one hand, hold on to something that gives you safety, security, or be brave, be bold, be courageous, and maybe strike out on your own, whatever this. This could be a job. This could be a business partnership. So... We have two kings here, king of wands, king of cups. If one of these is you, then there's already a very, you know, uh, uneasy union. And I'm saying that because water and fire are not compatible. Um, however, however, that being said, it's almost like the universe is telling you, don't ever sit there thinking a connection was a waste of your time. It never, it's never like that at all in fact i may say that water and fire are not compatible because you know water will put out the fire and fire will evaporate the water however in the temperance card it shows 
fire and water coming together to form something solid. So I think this connection was like that. Although you two were very different, you came together to form something solid. And I think for a really long time, that gave you security. That puts you in the energy of like, oh, love conquers all. And we're going to be okay. And we just need to, you know, keep trying. With the Eight of Wands, it might have been <clears throat> the type of relationship where there's a lot of conflict, push and pull. And Eight of Wands is like, well, every time we came back together, we would fall in love all over again. Without realizing that that this actually made the connection pretty toxic. Um, I think the potential, the potential for harmony was there. <clears throat> but in reality, what happened was this. A lot of conflict. A lot of power struggles. Control issues. Domination. And so it started getting really heavy because the five is the conflict, right? The issues. And that doubles to get to the 10. It started getting really heavy. And you know what's interesting to me is this looks like the same castle back here. That looks like the same building. But it's like before, this is like a somebody who's well-dressed. They are holding a key to this chest, which could be like a treasure. Whereas in this one, this is a, a laborer. He looks poorly dressed and he looks fatigued, exhausted. He still has a long way to go. So it feels like this relationship started off as a luxury and ended up, it felt like that. Like when, you, when the relationship started, it felt like a luxury, like something that was so um, wonderful. And now it's like, oh my God, it's like something you have to deal with, something you have to put up with. Let's clarify that Five of Wands. Clarify Five of Wands with Gemini. Oh, Six of Wands. Ten of Cups. The Moon card, Four of Wands. And the three of pentacles. Overall energy of the hangman. So part of the reason why you feel stuck, why you feel like I can't just, I can't just leave. Is because everybody, it's like everybody cheers for this connection. Everybody's like, oh my God, what a wonderful, whatever it is. If it's a relationship, everybody's like, what a wonderful relationship. If it's a family member. Wow, you and your mom get along so well. You and your dad get along so well. I wish I had a family like yours. Like, you've gotten used to people looking at you to, like, the standard for something. And so all of a sudden it created this fear of, what if people found out? What would they say? If they realized that we're not as stable as we appear to be. And I think there's a piece of you that's even afraid it'll affect your stability. Your income. Like, maybe you have a a reputation um, as a business owner and the, the connection that would dissolve, you're afraid it would affect your finances. So you're stuck. You feel like, ah, if I go, I, I might do this. And if I stay, this will happen. And so it's your, the conflict about should I stay or should I go? Let's clarify that Four of Pentacles for Gemini. Six of Swords. Clarify Four of Pentacles for Gemini. Six of Cups. Hmm. Justice card and Strength card. Oof. Overall energy, five of cups. Now, I will say we have three sixes on the table. Six of swords, six of cups, six of wands. And before you guys start with that bullshit of, oh my God, it's a demonic number. No, it's not. 
In numerology, six is the number of Venus. So it's actually a number of love. Okay. So don't start. Don't start with me. Now, the connection started off really well with that four of pentacles. It was like really stable or it felt really stable at the beginning, but it's led to a lot of disappointment. Like you're like, yes, I will say it led to a lot of healing. I think that you've healed a lot through this connection. But with this six of swords, it's like it's not, there's an energy in you that wants to move on from it now. So I feel as if you are, you're ready to move on. You're ready to move forward. You're ready to move away from this. With the six of cups, there is a recognition in you. Like, yes, this was a soulmate. Yes, I was meant to be with this person for the amount of time I was with them. You may have even felt, if you understand about those things, you may have even felt it was a karmic connection. But you also feel, and it was powerful, right? It was really, yeah, it was really powerful. But you also feel like you always have to restrain yourself. Like you, you have to hold back on something and it's disappointing. It's, it's depressing. It brings you down. Whatever it is. Only you know. Because it is a general reading. It's going to apply differently to, di to different people. But you do feel like you have to hold yourself back. And you really don't like that. Let's clarify Ten of Pentacles. I, I did... Uh, I did hear when I was started shuffling. I heard um, they're too sensitive. So you may feel like your partner is too sensitive. Let's clarify Ten of Pentacles. Two of Cups, Two of Swords, the Emperor, and Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So, Two of Cups acknowledges that the love is still there. You and this other person still care about each other. And there's a piece of you that's like, what if we took it a step further? What if instead of walking away, we got married? If you're not married. Or if you're already married, you're thinking, what if instead of walking away, we have a baby? Um, I think there's a piece of you that's stepping into a very logical energy. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and so you're telling yourself, if we just, if we just really cemented this, we could still save it. Or at least that's what you think. This is what you believe. You believe that if you just added something a little bit more solid, more, yeah, if you just solidify it somehow, it'll, it'll get better. Let's see. Let's clarify this King of Cups. We'll see if um, <clears throat> Tarot agrees with you. Clarify King of Cups. Mm. <clears throat> clarify King of Cups. Wow. Okay. Clarify King of Cups. And there's the fourth six. So we have six of wands, six of swords, six of cups, and now the six of pentacles. All four sixes are out. So Venus is very strongly present here. I want to mention that for a second because Venus is the planet of love. Yes. And I know that when it comes to astrology, people refer to Saturn and Mars and Pluto and planets like that as malefics. But I'm going to tell you something. Every planet has this benefic and malefic side. Venus can be malefic because sometimes it creates bonds based completely on appearance, image, lust, financial benefit. And I'm not saying that was the case here completely, but I will say that right now your desire to fix this is motivated by the desire for stability and security, not so much... Like, yeah, you acknowledge this is a, a soulmate, but I don't see you. It's not like you're like, I just love this person so much. There's still love there, but a lot of love has been lost too. And I would say it's on both sides. This is a perfectly good example. So you could be dealing with, <clears throat> there's Aries energy, there's Libra energy, Leo energy. Um... Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, 
Aries, Leo, Sag, and Earth, younger Earth. So this could be um, a younger Earth sign, can uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They may not be talking to you right now, or you may feel like you are slowly being left out in the cold, or they feel this way with you. So with the Four of Cups, one of you, whoever the King of Cups is, <clears throat> doesn't want this anymore. They're just like, uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. There's an awareness of it being over, but there's still a feeling of generosity. So there are two masculine. So this could be same sex or this could be that both of you just have a lot of masculine energy. But the King of Cups, which to me feels like more um, uh, emotional intelligence, whoever the King of Cups is. So between you and your partner, whatever type of partner it is, you know which one of you has more emotional intelligence. The one of you that does is still feeling financially generous. Or maybe maybe the pentacles represent time, energy. You know, it doesn't have to be financial. But they're also aware it's over. They don't want it anymore. They're looking to the future. They have they have things they want to build. And they it's like they just want to resolve this. They just want to bring it to a close. Let's clarify two of pentacles. That may be where the struggle is at, that you don't want to close it yet. Clarify Two of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Two of Pentacles clarified by Two of Pentacles. Okay. Tarot's like, bitch, I said what I said. Clarify Two of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. The Devil again. And the Judgment card with the three of cups <clears throat> so when the same card comes out to clarify the one that's already there i feel like it's both parties so if only one of these <clears throat> was here i would say one of you is trying to balance this out since two of them are here i would say both of you are not only trying to balance it out you're also both being a little indecisive <coughs> You're both swinging back and forth between, should we just walk away? Should we recognize that it's toxic and that we need to move on? Or should we recognize that this bond is unbreakable and we want to save it? I feel, I feel like there is a strong friendship. Like you two will always be friends. Um, possibly. One of you may feel that way. Because so far it's only come out once. One of you may feel like, well, well, we can always be friends. You know, I have nothing against you. Let's clarify this strength card. Wow. Clarify the strength card. Whoa. Okay. Empress, Hermit, Page of Wands. With the Knight of Wands. Okay. So remember when I said you feel like you have to hold back a lot, you feel like your partner is too sensitive. I feel like you're done with that. You're like, well, if we're about to end our connection, the gloves are off. If we're over, then I'm about to be their biggest nightmare. Because with the high priestess, there's a lot of things. It's like you've been collecting information on this person throughout your entire collect connection. <laughs> uh, Gemini, I feel like you're about to get real petty. So with the Hermit, Page of Wands, you might start sending them messages about what you think about them. Everything you've been holding back, which now I know why the devil's coming out twice. That is, that is very low vibration. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I understand the need to vent because <clears throat> this may be you. You may be feeling really betrayed. You may be feeling like, well, they deserve it because they did this or they did that. 
<clears throat> I just, you know, everybody takes out their anger differently. I just don't agree with that. I think that that's everything we put out comes back to us. So, eh, I mean, if this is how you resolve your feelings of resentment and anger, then it is what it is. Let's clarify King of Wands. Clarify King of Wands. Well, there's the King of Wands again. With the Page of Wands and the Temperance card again. <laughs> With, oh, the Empress just popped out. Could it be a third party. Um, with the Five of Wands again. So, yes, the issue is coming from the fact that, okay, now I see why you're being petty. You're being petty because this King of Cups knows it's over. The King of Cups just doesn't want anything anymore. And whoever the fire energy is, whoever is the most fiery person here, they're still in Page of Cups mode. They're trying to apologize. They might have done something or said something. They're trying to fix it. Temperance card is here twice. And the other person saying no. And which, if this is you, this is making you really petty. I'm sensing Leo energy because when we talked about holding back, the strength card was here. Strength card is here again, and now it's petty. <laughs> and there's definitely a lot of fire. You may have Leo as your rising, your moon. Or maybe it's your sun and this is your rising or moon. Either way, you're not taking the rejection well. Let me put it that way. So the gloves are off, Gemini. Oh, let's clarify temperance. Clarify the temperance. Ooh. We've got the magician. The chariot. Seven of pentacles. With the page of pentacles. So I feel like you, um, you're very focused on this. This is not, I wouldn't be surprised if the four of pentacles, oh, well, the four of pentacles is the first one, right? So yeah, it's like you're holding on to it because you're trying to manifest it. And then you've got the wheel of the chariot, I mean, which is about complete focus. Um, having an end point and being like, nothing's going to get in my way. So you really, really want to fix this. With the Seven of Pentacles, I don't usually read this card this way, but in this moment, this is what's coming across. Like you're trying to, okay, this tactic, that didn't work. All right, let me try this tactic. That didn't work. All right, let me, like you're trying to figure out what you need to do to make this person come back around because they are showing up as a King of Cups. They're usually very soft, very, uh, I want to say they're easy for you to control usually. But right now, it's like you're like, ooh, this person's giving me trouble. But a piece of you is taking it like a challenge. Like, okay, okay. Well, time I leveled up. <sighs> you're stressing for sure. Let's look at this Knight of Cups. Clarify Knight of Cups. Let's see. Knight of Cups. Clarify Knight of Cups for Gemini. Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, with the Three of Wands. Um, Okay, this is a whole other person. Because you and your king have come up as water, fire, you know, king of cups, king of wands. This is another person. Um, a while ago, the empress did want to pop out. Oh, there's another queen. So with the three of wands... There is the possibility, I hesitate to say this because I'm not seeing a lot of signs of it, but this feels like, like I feel like some sort of truth is being revealed where you're all focused on this person and they're kind of letting you know that they're focused on somebody else. Two aces are here. So not only is truth and clarity coming through, but it's like, you know, they may be saying, I'm sorry. I apologize, but I want to be honest with you. 
letting you know, you know, what actually makes them happy is another person, which is okay. Now this makes sense. <clears throat> That's most likely why the gloves come off. Let's clarify the eight of wands. Clarify eight of wands for Gemini. I feel like this is going to end ugly. Like it's already, it already started giving indications of that. Clarify eight of wands. Two of wands. The wheel of fortune. Five of cups. Mm, there we go. So knight of swords. Knight of Swords is the lovers. This could indicate a couple of things. On one hand, you may you may meet somebody yourself that you are feeling very drawn to. On the other hand, could be a younger air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. On the other hand, um, you may be running to whoever this queen is like going to almost like you want to you want to express your sorrow you want to you want to let them know how you feel because two of wands is about like how do I <laughs> this really sounds fucked up but I'm just going to say what's coming to me two of wands feels here like how do I inflict the most damage you feel like you are like this is this is your partner's karma for hurting you and that's how it's followed up with the devil clarify the devil for Gemini like you may want to intimidate the other person you may want to, um, like you think it would be the ultimate karma for your partner if this person rejected them the way they're rejecting you. Let's clarify the devil. Yep. There's your partner again. There's that king of cups. Okay. So, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. This new life, this new, um, this new thing that your partner has come across. You are, you're feeling it. Now, when I say you're feeling it, look at this image. I want you to look at this image. This is the image of somebody whose eyes are completely focused, obsessed on this thing. Unable to escape feeling like in a dungeon, like being tortured. This tortures you. It tortures you the fact that your, your partner has found something you know, there's the Ace of Swords, there's the Ace of Cups, and now the Ace of Pentacles. You're like, wow, so they're just going to start a whole new life without me. This shows up in your dreams. Uh, maybe this was like your worst nightmare, and now it's, it's, it's happening. Let's clarify this Ten of Wands, because this is getting heavy. Like, there's a piece of you that you are, you're hell-bent on revenge, is what I really want to say. Like you, you want to even things out because you're very much <sighs> Gemini. This isn't, this isn't like you actually, to me, Gemini is a very lighthearted, playful energy, but you're in the energy of being very, like your hurt is making you act out on levels that I don't think even this person has ever seen you act out. Let's clarify this 10 of wands. It's bringing out the devil in you, like literally. <laughs> Your demons are coming out. Clarify Ten of Wands. We've got the Eight of Swords, Oof, the Tower, and the King of Pentacles. 
with the Knight of Swords. I, I hesitate to say this because it's so brutal, but you want to destroy this person. But what you don't understand is that when something is meant to fall apart, right? When, when a connection is done and you're trying to hold on to something and then you try to destroy them in the process because they're not holding on to it with you, this is going to backfire, Gemini. I hate to say that, but I would, this is what readings are for. This is a warning. This is a warning. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because if you try to destroy this person, you will destroy yourself in the process. Because they're coming across very solid. Um, where before, they've come across as the emperor before, but I think for a long time they showed you a very soft side of themselves. And you were, you were a little bit more fiery. And they still came up as the King of Cups. But when you try to destroy them, they're showing up solid as the King of Pentacles. In fact, they may have Earth in their chart, Earth and Water, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You may have Air, well, you're Gemini, <laughs> but you also have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, but in fact, they may have anticipated it. Because it's like when you try to... You, you're charging towards them like with the intent of like I, I'm gonna lay you out they're showing up solid they're not it's not gonna work <sighs> Gemini 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 I don't know what to say except I hope you don't do that and that I don't know what to <laughs> I don't know what to tell you because I know it's a difficult situation when we're hurt we act out but I feel like you're taking it to levels that you know maybe this was a previous trauma you had and so it's triggering you and it's bringing out all of your darkest sides and um, I just maybe maybe the self-destruction is necessary I hope not I hope not but we'll see what's the message from Gemini's for Gemini I left you before you could leave me. Just being near you is intoxicating. I hope that you can forgive me one day, which I don't think you're in a very forgiving mood, but we'll see. So many things remind me of you. The timing just wasn't right for us. I know that I crossed the line with you. And I lost myself for a little while. So only you know which of those messages are yours and which one is this other person. Let's get some final advice or message from the wisdom of the oracle for this relationship. What's the last advice for this relationship? Oh, wow. You got, <laughs> you got three. Damn. Okay. And you know what? Just because this is the last reading out of all 12... I'm going to read the one at the bottom first. Okay, so let's read the rela relationship message for mending. Ah, forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. The relationship message is you've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you're to move forward. Separate or together, you and the other person are still experiencing the effects of a hurt that is impacting everything you do, even if you're not aware of it. The energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come of forgiveness and an honest redress. So this is basically saying, go ahead and express to this person how you feel, but, you know, let bygones be bygones. If somebody's not meant to be with you, they're just not meant to be with you. Acceptance and forgiveness would work best. Let's read 43. <clears throat> Deep knowing. Intuition, listening to the oracle within, empathy, and hypersensitivity. There are occasions when you just know deep in your heart and soul that a person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. 
Someone crosses your path and suddenly, out of the blue, you are connected at a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks the moment in time etched indelibly onto your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey, so pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin an alchemical process. This is also a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct. Trust your heart to lead you now. Magic is about to happen. So, <coughs> Six of Cups, Deep Knowing. You knew. When you met this person, you knew they were going to be important to you. And they have been. You've built a lot with this person. But, you know, just because they're part of your journey doesn't mean they're always going to be a part of your journey. Let's read number 28. Building blocks, strong foundations, a beautiful work in progress. When you see this card, know that you are attracting new relationships into your life and solidifying the ones you already have by building on the foundations of honesty, humility, clear communication, and a genuine desire to know one another. You are moving towards laying the groundwork for a relationship with the firm footing that will ensure it can withstand any storm. Long-standing relationships are also repaired and strengthened. You and the other person are stronger, wiser, and more powerful together than apart. So do you want to conserve even a shred of this relationship, like a friendship? Because if you do, forgiveness is necessary. Um, as it mentioned, when we want to have relationships that last a long time, it says we need, uh, we need to repair and strengthen them. And they're built on the foundations of honesty, humility, clear communication, and a genuine desire to know one another. Not... Not the desire to lash out because we're hurt. Let's read number one, Yang. The masculine principle of movement and creative activity, the power to make things happen, taking action. <clears throat> Circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement towards your highest good. So go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air, and now is the time. Now is the time to take. Now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. So remember when this one said new people are showing up into your life, <clears throat> and I told you you may have met somebody yourself, but you're focused on this connection that is not really, you know, going anywhere. Take action on the ones you know. You know where you stand. Okay, so Gemini, I hope that you enjoyed the reading. If you took anything from it, please like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> I know this is going to be a difficult message, but I hope you're the type of Gemini that can handle truth because that's the type of readings I do, okay? Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.